Tiffany here. Um, I'm usually Tiffany with Cards Crafty Creations, but today um, I am going to start on a project for myself, and it is going to be a very long and tedious and project. And so I thought I'd shoot videos and take you along with me on this journey. Um, so I saw on Facebook the other day that our local art museum is having a um, annual exhibition for Indiana and Ohio artists. And so I thought, well, I've made several forms of art, mostly paper crafting as you see, but I also do painting and coloring and all of that. But I thought it would be fun to do something for myself, something that I enjoy and kind of challenge myself at it too since it's not something that I do all the time like paper crafting but it is going to have paper crafting elements to it but essentially um, I when I heard about it I'm like I think I can do this I'm gonna take on this challenge it may not I'll submit it it may not be accepted into the exhibition but it's worth a try and I think I want to get that up out of my brain this art piece out of my brain and so the best way to do that is to actually make it so after that I really kind of like what should I do how should I make it I definitely um, looked at the different categories of art they accept which they accept all the standard forms of art painting coloring drawing all that but they also accept mixed media and mixed media is something that I thoroughly enjoy and spend have spent lots of time doing mixed media projects. So I'm like, that is what I'm going to do. Um, so I just sketched it. This is the sketch. It is nothing fancy, but it has the main concepts of what I'm going to do in this project. So um, several years ago, after I got out of college, after I graduated and got out of college, I was like, what do I want to do with all this time? Like, I got so used to um, spending all of my free time studying and testing and all that and after I graduated it was like what do I do with all this time and so I decided I was going to learn violin and so I was in my 30s I decided to pick up a instrument to try and that was the one I chose and I'm still kind of wondering why I chose that because it was not an easy instrument to learn um, but I did I taught myself for probably six months and then I ended up finding myself a teacher who um, took me on as a student and he taught me for several years how to play violin. Um, I ended up playing for our local symphony orchestra for several years in the second violin section and I will say I was never really that good at it. Um, it was a real challenge, that's for sure. For me, that was a challenge. Art drawing, crafting, that isn't a challenge. <laughs> that comes pretty easy to me, but playing an instrument is a huge challenge. I can't read time. I can read music. He did teach me to read music, but counting time was never my thing, and so I always struggled in it. Um, I haven't played for several years now, um, but I still have an appreciation for it and a bit of uh, being proud of myself for trying and learning and doing for several years. Um, so violin has always been something that is um, kind of always in my visual aesthetic um, because it's just very, can be very beautiful. And so when I was kind of trying to come up with the concept of what I was going to do for this um, project, um, a violin did come to mind. And, and then it just escalated from there. Um, in the past, as a paper crafter, I actually crafted my own paper violin. And I did this several years ago. And it's made out of chipboard and patterned paper. And then it has embellishments on it. And the strings are um, like some cordage. And the tuning knob is a brad. And just some decorations in relation to it. But I did create this out of paper crafting material. The tuning knobs like um, for tuning are made out of keys and these are brads again and it's just something that I enjoyed. I've made 
I've made two completed versions of this. I gave one to my violin teacher and then I have the prototype in which I started. The prototype is not a scale that I liked so um, I since had um, adjusted it. So my th concept here is to recreate the violin and it is going to be on the canvas in a forest and so what I really want to do is create the violin and then um, use watercolor to um, create the forest around it. So it's going to be like decoupage background with um, like staining and um, different colors with trees in the background and then I want to do dimensional trees coming forward out of watercolor paper and then um, like add some moss moss and mushrooms onto the violin. I think I'm going to add a um, a cardinal, a watercolored cardinal on it because that is our state bird here as well as um, I had got some of these from Hobby Lobby just some um, very like whimsical aesthetic and muted colors not vibrant but like um, greens and reds in this orangey color and browns and so I got a couple of these that I could add into the foliage um, that I'm going to make and then I actually got lights to go behind the violin so it will illuminate from behind as well so that's kind of my concept um, that's where I'm going to go with this so I did get myself a canvas and then I got um, this it's actually like a rustic wood frame. Um, I just got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it goes with the aesthetic. So I'm actually going to do the decoupage first and then I'm going to set the canvas in because I want the trees and foliage to come out onto the frame so that the frame becomes um, the image is encapsulated but also ex it going outside the frame to kind of bring the frame together into it. So that's kind of my concept here. Um, it is August 3rd and this project has to be submitted for um, review and stuff by the 23rd and I'm actually going on a trip for seven days in which I won't be able to work on it. I think the hardest part of this project, or not hardest, but the most time consuming part of this project for me is going to be rebuilding the violin. Um, there's a lot of sirens going today. Um, so, but I'm going to do it in sections. This is going to be a, a series of videos. The first one will be doing the background. The second one will be building the violin and probably covering the violin and then painting the trees and getting the trees on there so it's going and then the moss and the mushrooms and all that's going to be a whole nother video so this is probably at least a six part video and so I hope that you will all stick around and watch it come together because I'm actually really excited like I all of my videos I do to create for everybody else and anyone who's interested in my products that I sell on Etsy and Go Imagine and my own website shop. So a lot of the times that's all my videos. My videos are, you know, creating cards, creating mixed media signs for your house, things like that. So this one is actually for me. So even if I don't make it into the exhibition, it's going to be a piece of artwork that I can actually hang in my home that I've made myself. And so I'm very excited to do it. So please stick around and come back for all the videos that are coming up. And um, like I said, it's going to be like probably five videos to get this project done. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one.